Owen, we're here today to talk about the most anticipated movie of the summer, The Dark Knight Rises. This is the conclusion of the trilogy of Batman movies made by Christopher Nolan, who really reimagined Batman, took it out of its comic book origins and made it into a story of great depth, also by putting Christian Bale in the Batsuit. In this conclusion, which is large and deep and confused and interesting, we have Batman coming out of retirement in a way because the city is falling apart. There is a new villain coming to the fore. His name is Bane, and he has nothing less than the destabilization of society on his mind. There's also a minor villain who is played by Anne Hathaway. She is a cat burglar. She's a kind of side villain to this big story. Oh, and the thing that interests me about this movie is that Nolan is going so big that he's taking on politics, that he's taking on how we live today, that he's he's really trying to make this into a political statement. The thing that disappoints me in a way, and I hate to say that about Batman because anything by Christopher Nolan is worthwhile, it's so big and it's so broad and it's held on the shoulders of a villain who, bottom line, is boring. After Heath Ledger is the Joker, who I think is one of the greatest villains in history, I feel like Bane is the bane of my existence. Well, I didn't think Bane was boring, but I think my real disagreement with you is that I think this movie earns its bigness. Look, it's not as audacious or visionary a movie as The Dark Knight, in the sense Christopher Which Nolan. Was brilliant. Yeah, he set the bar extraordinarily high for himself, and now it would be a kind of miracle if he leapt over it. Um, but look, I think this movie is, in every sense, an epic piece of filmmaking. I think it has an ominous grandeur, an operatic force that seized me and wouldn't let go. And look, even though uh, it doesn't have the total surprise that The Dark Knight had, it's full of surprises. And I think the feeling it gives you is of being not just a movie, but an experience. That's its impact. Yeah, that's interesting that you put it that way because I think that when you, when the smoke settles and when it boils away, the impact does not have weight behind it. It is all about making big gestures and no one makes a more beautiful gesture than Christopher Nolan. But underneath it, I think he's trying to carry so much that it collapses under all of that grandeur. I actually think the movie is really about something. Tell me. Well, The Dark Knight... Don't tell me it's about, you know, right wing and left wing and politics and it's Bane not. and Bane and... No, okay. it's not. It's okay, not. Good. It's not political in that way. Look, The Dark Knight was the movie where Hollywood finally kind of caught on screen the turbulence and chaos and terror of the post 9-11 world. And it did that entirely through the character of the Joker, Heath Ledger's extraordinary performance. We're in a different moment now. I would argue the anxiety is higher. It's economic, but people feel like the bottom is going to fall out. And what's interesting is that The Dark Knight Rises expresses that not through the villain, but through the character of Batman, the way he keeps getting knocked down further and further until finally he has to crawl out of the pit of hell to become a hero. In this movie, his desperation becomes our desperation. Wait, 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 wait. Batman is a billionaire. So... No, he loses his money. He loses everything. Yes, he does. But this is... He's living the life of a billionaire. So I, I don't see the crawling out aspect that you're Well, what I'm about. just saying is... That we all know that Bruce Wayne is a, is a billionaire. But what I'm saying is that the character of Batman is in a very dark and desperate place. And he becomes the audience's focal point of identification. And the whole feeling of the movie is that this society, this hero, is hanging on a precipice. And I think not in a specific topical way, even though it has scenes on Wall Street, but in a kind of larger emotional way, this movie catches the mood of the time right now that this society is hanging on a precipice. Then one aspect of the time right now is big, long, dark, chaotic movies. Do you think that this will sustain if we look at this in 10 years and look at this and say, ah, this makes sense as a kind of grand masterpiece? Well, I think it captures the moment. I think this movie is as dark, as timely, as relevant, as right there as, say, the current presidential campaign. And frankly, when that's over, I think we're all going to be wishing for Batman.